went to Barnes and Noble. Waited in line for how long were we in line? 20 At least 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah, I was gonna say 20, 30 minutes. And uh, now, oh, and they're out of peppermint mocha. But now I'm going to return the new iPhone because I just wasn't really impressed with it for it being so much money. So I'm going to get the 8 Plus instead. And um, what else do we got to do today? Nothing. Get home. Sit on the couch. Oh, I'm going to make riggies later. And uh, that's pretty much it. Should we go to Petsmart after? See if they have any more dog outfits. They got them. They just got a small one. I know, but I wanted to get them like a jacket or something. This is the, the cashier. For some reason, we have eggnog. So I got it. I got the rose gold one, the biggest storage, and yeah, it's just the eight plus. So I gotta activate it and all of that. But honestly, the iPhone X, I was not impressed with the camera. It was supposed to be like the world's best camera. It really wasn't. Like we went to this event last night and um, I took pictures. I took pictures in all different lighting with flash, without flash. And they were so grainy and pixelated and the selfie camera and the front camera, everything, the saturation and the contrast is like really harsh. And I just wasn't into it. And the notch at the top of the screen, didn't like that. Uh, I thought I wouldn't really mind it, but yeah. And I didn't like not having a home button. <laughs> and it was super heavy. Like it was, it was like a, it wasn't that much bigger than my phone, but it was like super heavy, like in my hand. So I don't know. I just downgraded. And some people might think I'm crazy, but I know I tweeted this and some of you guys were like, yeah, I didn't like either. And I returned it. So to each their own, right? So yeah, this is it. Oof. <laughs> Almost dropped it. I got this case to put on it too, the life proof. Just because, um, I don't know what I just did. Because it needs to be proofed. Am I dumb? How do I open this? Oh my god, I am like a child. I can't accomplish anything on my own. I don't freaking understand how to open this. Why is everything so difficult? I really don't understand. I cannot figure out how to get the freaking life proof case open to put on my phone. So I have to go ask Tommy for help and he's out on his tractor. He just got a tractor, like a tractor tractor. I don't even know why, we don't need one. I don't know what this is for, but I have to go bother him so I can unlock this. Super annoying when you have to ask for help, but. Whatever, we can go play with the dogs. Hello? Hi! Hi! Rosie! Hey! I don't understand what he's even doing with this. This dead one? That one. 
Sit. <laughs> Sit. You are a jumping bean. It is such a nice day. Like it's probably 40 out, but it doesn't like feel bad because it's sunny. Where's my little shadow? There she is. Rose! Oh my goodness! Stop! <laughs> you are so annoying. She just wants to be on camera so bad. Wanna go inside? Are you digging holes? Who did this? I have a feeling it was you because your paws are dirty. Come on. These sunglasses make me feel like I am Mrs. Iglesias from Name That Movie. Excuse me. What are you two doing up there? What's going on over here? Gonna watch Dad on the tractor? Okay, so for dinner I'm making riggies, which is like an upstate New York kind of thing. So I figured I would show you guys, since a lot of you probably haven't had it before. So they normally are chicken riggies, but I'm making them with shrimp tonight. You can make it with any kind of meat you want. Like people do sausage, people even do like steak. So tonight I'm just doing shrimp. It's supposed to be cooked. Don't mind him, he's watching the Cowboys game and they're losing. Um, anyways, so whatever meat you use, just cook it beforehand or you can throw it in with the vegetables. So um, here are all the ingredients that you're gonna need. So nothing crazy, but it's actually like super easy to do. So I like to buy like, you know, pre-cut kind of vegetables because it's just easier and then I don't chop my fingers off. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna start with a stick of butter. This is actually fake butter. I don't know what it is, but I personally prefer the taste of riggy sauce with fake butter or margarine i can't believe it's not butter whatever kind of stuff you have but for some reason it tastes oh it tastes better so don't judge me i'm just being honest so let that melt okay so that's almost done melting but i'm going to throw in this mixture of red green and um white onion so just put it in there you can also add whatever kind of vegetables you like. A lot of times they put mushrooms in there, so I'm gonna put mushrooms in there. Tommy doesn't really like mushrooms, but I mean, I'm the one making it, so I'm in charge of what's happening. And you can just eat around them. Mushrooms don't even taste like anything. Don't be a baby, just eat them. And these are just baby bello mushrooms. I'm also putting in like a tablespoon of minced garlic i love minced garlic actually i just love garlic and i love that i don't have to chop it so put that in there as well all right so then next are hot cherry peppers you can get these in a jar in oil so this just gives it a really good flavor and if you don't like it spicy or you want it like really mild just put in like one or two but i usually put in like i don't know five or something and it just tastes really really good so Put them in there, and if you want it more spicy, obviously add more, but I'd probably do like five or so. Don't skip this stuff. Like even if you don't like spicy, I don't really like really spicy stuff, but it just tastes really good. So let that all simmer. Enjoy some wine while you're doing so. Okay, so then I like to add black olives. Usually I get like whole olives but i don't have any so i'm just using sliced olives obviously if you don't like olives you don't have to put them in there but i like olives so um i'm just gonna put a bunch in there because they're yummy and then i just eat some in the process then to get the sauce going basically you just want to add a can i think this is like eight ounce I like an eight ounce little thing of tomato sauce, not puree or anything like that, just like sauce. Stir it up. And then we're gonna go in with the extremely healthy heavy cream, which heavy cream just makes everything just amazing. So this is not vegan or uh, healthy really. <laughs> Usually put about half of this container, half to like three quarters of a 16 ounce. So I take that, mix it in there. It's gonna give you a nice like pink sauce. 
So you just want it to be like a really pale orangey pink. So about that color. I also like to add a splash of white wine. Nothing sweet though, so I would do like a Pinot Grigio or a Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, whatever, just like a splash. Obviously you can omit that if you're not into wine. You can use chicken broth. It just adds like a little bit of extra flavor in there. Oh my God. Get him out of here. Next, I'm taking some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Don't get the stuff in the can or like the plastic container because it's not really good. So I'm just gonna put this in there and like whisk it in as I go, which is important. Otherwise it gets like kind of clumpy. And this is gonna thicken up the sauce. So if you like it super thick, then add like the whole container. But I usually do about half. just kind of really mix it in there I just add a little more I just added more because I just felt like it so then I'm just gonna add some freshly ground black pepper you can add some salt if you feel like it needs it it usually doesn't with all that Parmesan okay so that's pretty much the sauce you can um, eat it right away with the pasta, but I usually like to let it simmer for like at least half an hour. So you just put it on like low and let it simmer. Just makes the flavor even better. So then all you have to do is boil some rigatoni. I usually do like half a bag for me and Tommy, and then there's usually a little bit of leftovers, but you boil some pasta, pour it over or mix it in. I usually pour it over and yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Cuties. I'm hoping they don't lose, but it doesn't sound good. Okay, so I almost forgot. Um, when you go to boil your pasta, just add in whatever kind of protein that you're using. So I'm putting in my shrimp. Like I said, I've already cooked these. And yeah, you don't want to overcook the shrimp because then they'll be really chewy and gross. So just put it in when everything's like almost ready. Or you can obviously have your chicken in there. But again, you don't want your chicken to get really dried out. So just add it in whatever. But I usually like to do it separate. But I mean, how good does this look? I mean, you could honestly just eat this by itself if you're like trying to be low carb. <laughs> you could just like make this like a soup. The sauce is just like everything. So. Put a lid on it and let it simmer. Carbs, 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 carbs. When you're waiting for the pasta to boil, you drink your wine. They're not winning. I like to call this segment Chef Steph or Steph the Chef. Listen, you have to say that the Riggies are the best you ever had. I will not say that. I'm not lying. You have to be honest. Exactly. Why would I say that? <laughs> they are the best. They might be. I don't know. I haven't tasted them. I make them all the time. Wine. Is that Hallmark I hear? I feel like I hear Hallmark music. Hallmark Christmas. Mmm, these are good. You didn't even try it yet. Might be hot. Those are good. They are. Better than yours. They are good. <laughs> now we can watch Hallmark movies. 